<laughs> From How Can You Mend a Broken Heart to Staying Alive, my next guests have been transmitting the groove across the airwaves for 20 years and over 100 million records sold. I think that deserves a yeah. applause. 100 million. Now they're on their first American tour in over 10 years. We're delighted to have them here performing the title song from their new album, One. These are the Bee Gees. Sitting with the Bee Gees, and now I have a real young audience, so just for safety, we're going to introduce ourselves. I'm Arsenio, right now. Uh, well, I'm not Arsenio. I'm Morris. <laughs> Barry. Oh, I'm Robin. Robin. Yeah, you have your own there. Yes. Uh, yeah. You all are back on the road uh, after ten years. Yeah. 
Is it rough? Is it scary? Uh, did you, you know? Well, it's, it's, it's very organized. You know, like earlier on, you know, you used to do madder things than you're doing now, like, you know, boozing up all night and partying and things. But no, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's plenty of sleep, a good time, and you can perform well. Do you find yourself getting nervous after being away so long? Well, we were always nervous, so it really doesn't make any much, very much difference, you know. <laughs> really? When we're here. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, okay. I, I guess because just being away, you have that crowd there and, uh, and you don't know how they're going to accept new stuff sometimes. That's right. That's right. It's, 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 it's difficult to tell whether uh, something brand new is going to work with... But that never uh, changes. The fear of doing something new is mm -hmm. always there. Yeah. yeah. yeah anytime. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 What, what do you think of uh, the music that's out there now? What do you like? Uh, I still like a lot of uh, R&B, soul music. So that's what we miss more than anything else. We miss Soda Shredding and we miss uh, uh, real soul records. They don't too many, make too many soul records these days. So we try they to make them, but yeah. they're, still, yeah. they're still not mainstream. You know, they used to be mainstream. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have to go to a special club to hear it. You, know? yeah. right. you just don't get on the radio. Right. Um, when you were growing up, what kind of stuff did you listen to? Oh, we listened to Motown, um, Beatles. I think everybody was influenced by them then. Uh, yeah. But mostly it was black R&B music, Motown music. But I, I think a lot of the music today is derivative of the 50s, 60s, and 70s anyway. Yeah. And it's, it's sort of all clubbed into so, so, you know, the one kind of sound. And it's, it's very... So it's like the disco today is, is the sort of, I, I guess, the Stock Aiken and Waterman type records that are repetitive sequences with a straight down bass drum, which is yeah. disco today. You know, so it's, to us, we were never disco. We were into R&B, like how deep is your love is R&B. It was never... Oh, let's go with dance records. There'll always be dance records. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I like it. Yeah. You know, you, you mentioned the word disco. That whole disco thing, I mean, you all you all owned it, okay? It's as simple no, as that. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Y'all owned it. New, new, new. Th there was an era where I was in Chicago. I had just come out of college, and it wasn't nothing but Bee Gees, okay? Yeah. That's it, you know? Yeah, but the Bee Gees weren't disco. The Bee Gees have never been disco. I mean, if you if you uh, listen to some of our Barry, records. I was in a disco. I'll see you. What do you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, no. We, if you listen to some of our earlier records before Fever, um, we were simply um, R&B, mainstream, perhaps a little bit of European pop, but uh, we never really, we got involved in disco is what happened, like a lot of people did, and it was a culture change, you know, and uh, it was like everybody wanted to dance, there were, there were older couples going out and taking dancing lessons, but everybody's it was gonna strange, dance. you know. They're going to dance now, they danced when Glenn Miller well, was on, they're always yeah, going to dance. Yeah, but that was the beginning of what you call dance music today. They don't agree with you either, do we? Glenn out of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got nothing against Glenn Miller. I like Glenn Miller. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about this album. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe you'll talk to me about it. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Well, Barry's better at it. I'm better at it. Okay. Yeah, well, this album is, is once again a much more R&B orientated for us, and it's a warmer album. And the nice thing about this album is that we went live. We did, uh, it's a live band, you know? And when you hear a band like this, you know, it's amazing. And, that, and, and that's what's missing from a lot of records, because people use a lot of um, programming these days. Right. And we, we've sort of been through that, and we hate it now, and we, we want to be live, and we want to be like Tracy Chapman, you know, we actually perform, oh, and then people... Not all at once. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> there's so, one, huh? so there's no drum machine on this album, I mean... Well, no. there might be, but it's very little. No, and, uh, no, yeah. no, there isn't, actually. No, no. there's no, no drum machine. machine. <laughs> it's all Steve... It's all, it's, 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 it's all Steve Veroni on drums, yeah. who's played with the Average White Band, and yeah, he now plays with Clapton, you know. Yes. He's, he's yeah, brilliant. brilliant. But he's so steady that we could replace his sounds and still keep, or add sequences if we needed to. Yeah. But I think what we're going to do is always focus on the R&B uh, basis of our music. I think that's the music that we're always going to go and focus on in the future. And it's what we enjoy doing the best. Right, you and dance music too. We're going to do music yeah. dance. Well, everybody loves yeah. to dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you all are doing another song off the album later on in the show, right? Yes. Yeah. See, they're happy. Yeah. They're happy. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do next? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want to hear? You know, uh, well, I haven't heard the album, so it's, uh, it's unfair for me to request, because I'll ask for... What, what is that? Oh, he's a new album. You're the one. <laughs> he did the research. You'll be severely reprimanded, sir, at the door. <laughs> what are you doing next, Barry? Uh, oh, we're going uh, to <laughs> ask me another The next song, you mean? <laughs> the next song. The next song yeah. is that we were saying, we're going to do You Win Again, Again, yeah. Again. Uh, because we, uh, we had it out a while back and... Um 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. That's great. Um, um, we, we had it out a while back and um, got a, a good reaction, but not an, an enormous reaction to the record, mainly because it had been a while since we'd come back. So having been out a while now and having had a, uh, a new hit record, uh, which one was for us, we want to re-release You Win Again, 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 Again. And, uh, <laughs> not necessarily in that order. <laughs> yes. And, um, and perform it again. How's that? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. We'll be back with Yakov Smirnov and the Bee Gees. Together. Go Hammer! Go Sickle! Go Hammer! <laughs> Back Go to perform sickle. the hit song! <laughs> are, we, are we ready? Oh, we're stretching, okay. We're just trying to... Where did you learn how to do the running man? <laughs> it's doing that number one song, You Win Again, are the Bee Gees. Where did you learn that, man? The, I, I just was watching. Just kind of love, love with me. 